Marjorie Taylor Greene is going loco about January 6th. Two years later, let's uncover the truth. The divorced Christian nationalist Marjorie Taylor Greene unfortunately has a new podcast where she gets to grift and make money off of the lies and conspiracies that she feeds to the MAGA cult. And on a recent episode, she goes on a little tangent about the January 5th DNC pipe bomber. So let's give that a listen. FBI can't find the pipe bomber? This is ridiculous. <laughs> This shows you that the FBI doesn't care about finding the pipe bomber because they know exactly who the pipe bomber is. Many people have alleged that Marjorie Taylor Greene is, in fact, the January 5th pipe bomber. After all, both of them were wearing the same shoes. Both of them have the stocky shoulders and both of them have the very stout Neanderthal-esque frame. We still don't have concrete evidence that Green is the alleged pipe bomber, but it would make sense given the fact that Green thinks Democrats are a bunch of satanic people who drink the blood of babies. And then in a second segment of this podcast episode, Green goes on to spread a heinous conspiracy about the FBI and about January 6th. So let's give that a listen as well. You see, this should never happen. The federal government should never be weaponized against the people and set up honeypots and traps honey to pots. draw people in and, and actually take part in making these people commit crimes and then framing the people to set up a narrative against a president, it's wrong. And I believe that's what happened on January 6th. So this is the first time I think we've ever heard Marjorie Taylor Greene acknowledge that the January 6 terrorists committed crimes that day. No, that they weren't framed by the FBI. They committed those crimes willingly and knowingly. But this debunks Marjorie's narrative that they were just peaceful protesters. And secondly, there were no honeypots on January 6. There were no attractive women luring these people in. Although. I did see a bunch of Nazis, white nationalists, and people waving Confederate flags. I still think Marjorie Taylor Greene ought to be expelled from Congress after seeking a presidential pardon for her role in the insurrection. And I don't know why she hasn't been indicted yet, but she should be. She should be.